Good day guys, Bing here. Um, previously we did this um, exercise, so today I'm going to um, show you, uh, we're going to add a little bit more detail into it, so some, maybe some frames, some panels, okay, so let's do it. So first um, select one of this uh, family, okay, so use your tab key and click on edit family so now we have this so it's a it's a it's a, a form a surface with void okay so now tab select the surface so uh, actually you need to tab twice twice and then you can click on this so once you tab twice, select, and then click on Divide Surface. And then you can uh, create a divided surface, uh, use the shape of this mess. Okay, so now let's pick a, pick a pattern. Uh, maybe let's try this one. And maybe I'll try adjust the number of, yeah, I think that's better. So now, this is um, this is only a pattern, so these are lines. So, and if you, I don't think it will, when you render, you won't see these lines, but you can only see, I think, these panel, um, because they are not flat, so if you can see from here. So, um, what I'm going to do is, uh, we're going to use a divided, oh no, sorry, we're going to use pattern-based family to create um, some frames and maybe some uh, glazing to make it more, more interesting. Okay, so let's go to create a new family. So you can use either the pattern, oh, curtain panel pattern based or generic model pattern based. They are, as as far as I know, they are the same, just different uh, category. And you can also ch always ch change between them. So let's use this one. And very important first step, if you, if you use any of this, um, pattern, just make sure before you start modeling this pattern-based family, change the grid. Okay, so select this and change the grid to match the one you use in that family. So which uh, I am using this one, so I'll change this one. So now you will see it will change the number of the those adaptive points in this uh, family. Okay, so now uh, I'm going to create a frame and so first let's place a point so on any of any of these reference lines and use draw draw on face so then use reference line so I'm going to create a rectangular shape so and draw on work plan set work plan pick this work plan and draw a rectangular shape um, I'm going to actually, I'm going to add some dimension to it, oh, parameter to it. DI, oh, before I dimension it, set work plan. I want to double check to make sure the current work plan is on this point. Okay, so this. And DI. And, okay, so these dimensions are too big. So let's change the scale. So make them smaller relatively. And DI again, DI again, and again. So now we can select these two. So I'm going to call it W1. Uh, maybe just type parameters and create another one, W2, and OK. So now we can go to family type. So we can change this one. Just remember this because half, these, these are half dimension of this, uh, the overall width and the uh, depth or height so we just need to make sure so for example if I want this one to be 100 
by 300 so I need to type in 50 and 150 okay so click OK so now we have this profile and control select and create a form and this is a frame and you can give it a material or create a material parameter so now type HH -H. so we have this reference line we can create a, a panel with this so pick the one on the left I'm going to just type in 25 25 25 to make a 50 mil panel and also I'm going to just straight away just type in glass to make a car or you can also create a material pr uh, parameter if you wanted to okay so type HR so this is it this is my pattern based family so now let's load it into the the family so the one panel one um one individual so this one and then we can select this divided surface okay so and then swap it this um, might take a few seconds so now this is it so you um, actually you can notice you will notice that um, there's some line between them this is because the it's not perfectly flat so so this um, will create this uh, triangular shape because it's not flat I think it's not um, it's actually not too bad I think the create create this uh, quite nice pattern but just remember when if, if you render I believe uh, you won't see them it's just a kink between different um, panels so I think this is okay so I'll just leave it um, for now so let's try load this into that um, this one and overwrite and I think this might take a little bit longer but it won't take much longer because because the, the shape of this so there are only three I think there are only three different uh, shape so one two and one two three and all these the shape of these ones are same these ones are same these ones are same so it will take a little bit longer um, hurry up <laughs> almost almost there yeah so this is it um, maybe let, let me just remove these uh, graphic setting because this will slow down the, the view so let me just turn off everything okay so all the shadows and um, yeah I think that's all good I think this will improve the performance a little bit so now you will see these panels are quite uh, else there's something still not there still there oh maybe let, let me just change to thin line yeah I think that's better maybe even scale so yeah okay so because the scale will, dis uh, will also affect the, the the line thickness so you'll see if I have that um, thin line on or off <laughs> you can change the scale to change the line thickness okay so now this is it so now these are quite nice but actually you can also um, maybe add another another uh, frame so around these uh, panels and I think um, 
maybe I'll leave it to you because it's, it will be quite e uh, easy. You can just find uh, the use the reference. Oh, sorry, use the uh, reference line and place a point, and then cre create a profile on that point and create a shape. I think that will be very easy to do. And that's it. Um, I'll up upload this family for you if, if you want to have a look. And that's it. Thank you for watching and, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.